My name is Ruben and I'm the youth and children's worker here at Brockenhurst, as I'm sure many of you will know. Um, and what I'm going to do for you today is a craft tutorial <laughs> um, to keep you and any children you might have or young people you might have busy at home. Um, so this craft that we're going to do today is based off a great story in the Bible. And it's when Jesus and his disciples are in a boat crossing the Sea of Galilee. And uh, they're all having a great time on the boat and Jesus decides to have a nap. It's been a long day. So he tucks himself down to have to sleep. And just as Jesus goes to sleep, a huge storm blows up and the boat's tossing side to side and the waves come up. And obviously the disciples get pretty scared. They're a bit worried. So they are panicking and they wake Jesus up and say, oh, we don't know what to do, we don't know what to do, we're so scared, it's too much. And Jesus says, don't worry, I've got this. And he stands up and he speaks to the wind and the waves and he says, be still. And they're still. He stops. And the wind and the storm is gone, everyone is safe and they're no longer frightened. And that's a great story because it reminds us that no matter how scary things might get in the world, that Jesus is in control and that he can make things better. He will make things right again. So we don't have to be afraid because we have Jesus to look after us. And that's a great thing to remember. And this craft is going to help us remember that truth. So today we're going to make a boat on a stormy sea. Now, uh, what you'll need to make this is a paper plate, some sellotape, some belt tip pens, some straws, well a straw, um, glue, I've used PVA glue, but you could use a Pritt stick if you prefer, and you will need some different colours of tissue paper. And you'll need a lot of imagination um, to get started. So the first thing you need to do is to take your paper plate and to cut it in half. Now, I've already done that, as you can see. So one half is going to become the boat and the other half is going to become the sea. So we'll put the boat to one side for now and we're going to make the sea to start with. So you take your piece of paper that's going to be the C and you get your glue and you can either do this with colouring pens, felt tip pens or pencils, crayons, whatever you prefer or um, you can use a bit of tissue paper. Uh, now you can do whatever colours you like, it's your C um, but it's a stormy C so you maybe want some dark greens and blues. And I've just gone for one blue to keep it safe. So you get your glue and you just put it all over that half of the paper plate. Just spread it nice and thick. There we go. And we just take our tissue paper and we rip it. And you just scrunch it up and you stick it on your plate like that. And maybe I'll put a bit, bit, bit more on. You just do as much as you like, whatever colours you like, wherever you like it. It's your C. Do you want to do a purple C? Do a purple C. Whatever makes you happy. And don't worry if you're not good at, or well, think you're not good at crafts, I promise you, everyone is good. And the key is just to have a go and have fun. So, you'll probably finish with something that looks a little bit like this. So that's our C done. So I'm just going to put that to one side now. And now we're going to make our boat. 
So you take your piece that is your boat, and again you can do this with uh, the colouring pens or with tissue paper. Um, I think I've got some nice brown tissue paper. So it's going to be the same again. We get our blue and we're just going to put it all over the paint, half of the plate and rip and stick. Um, but if you're colouring, colouring, um, maybe you want to think of a name for your boat. All good boats have names. I'm going to call mine Derek. So get it nice and glued. Again, just rip it up. You get that nice textured look. And I'm just going to stick this all over Derek, my boat. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Now the disciples probably didn't have a very fancy boat. So it's okay if it looks a bit messy. So just get it all covered like that. Maybe you want to add some fine detail. So you've probably got something looking a bit like this now. Nice little boat. So now uh, we're going to make the mast. So you take a straw. Um, these are plastic straws, I'm very sorry, um, but none of them will end up in the ocean. So you take your straw and you're going to need some paper for this. Get a piece of paper, like so, and we're going to make a sail. So you just draw a sail, whatever shape, size you want to be. So you could do a really big sail if you wanted, like that. Whatever shape, I've gone for a triangle. Pick whatever shape you want. And then, why not decorate your sail? I'll put my boat's name and a smiley face. But you do whatever you want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our sail. Maybe get some help from a grown-up if you've only got big scissors in the house. I can find a grown-up to help me, so I'm going to be very, very sensible. So we cut out our sail. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, chop. Like so. And then we're going to get our straw. We're going to get our so and we're going to get some sellotape. Again, you might need a grown-up's help for this bit. We'll take the sellotape and then we just stick it onto the sail like so. You see? Now, here's one I made earlier. So I'm just going to take this and we're going to now Stick it onto our boat. So turn your boat upside down, put your sail on with the decoration facing the table, get some tape, and we're just gonna stick it like that. So you've got something that looks a bit like that. And maybe you wanna draw some people and put them in your boat. So here are all 12 the disciples and Jesus which I prepared earlier, and I'm just going to stick them on my boat. I'm just going to use the glue that's already there. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the back of this and stick them down like so. So I'll just stick them on my boat. Can you see? Now I've got all the disciples and Jesus Riding in Derek. Lovely. So now we need to put our boat on our sea. I should have said this at the beginning. You are going to need butterfly clips to complete your craft. Um, you can get these in most uh, shops, which are probably closed. Um, if you don't have any of the craft materials, um, please 
do email in and we will, or say in the comments, and we will drop some off for you at a safe distance if you don't have any of the craft materials because we have got loads to spare. So anyway, we take our pin, like so, I don't know if you can see it, and we take our C, and we put the C over the boat like so, and we're just going to stick the pin through, and again, probably get a grown-up's help for this, so you don't stab yourself. And then when the pin comes through the back, you can just see that there, you need to fold the two prongs down. Now, if you don't have a pin, you could always just tape the boat to the ocean, or vice versa. But now you can see the boat can go up and down in the ocean, in the sea. And there you have it. We have got one finished craft and one reminder that no matter how big and scary the storm is, Jesus can make it stop. Um, so we're going to be putting up a new craft uh, tutorial every week. Um, the craft this is taken from is on our website, brockenesschurch.com. If you go onto the coronavirus support under Youth and Children's, you'll be able to find this craft there and lots and lots of other great resources. Do check them out and keep your eyes peeled for more craft tutorials and more uh, fun videos. Um, bye!